Hey, what's up, everybody? This is All Our Mobile Wiz Tech, and welcome back to my channel. If you have a smart TV, an Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Android TV box, or pretty much any media stream box that has that onboard keyboard for you to input your searches or for you to log in, well, this little guy right here can become a lifesaver. And it also has some cool features as well. And I'll be talking more about it right after this. Hey, real quick, if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe and a notification bell button. That way you can stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. But let's have a quick look at the box. Not a whole lot going on on the front, but on the back, you can see that it shows some of the devices that it does support. All right. And if we turn to the side, the keys are backlit. Let's get a focus here. There we go and you can change the color. So you can change them dynamically. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this open. Okay, so you have your charge cable. Of course, it's type A to micro USB. And then you have your manual as well. Let's put this stuff aside. Of course you have your keyboard that's here. Get this open. Okay. And uh, you can see that this battery is removable. So if it were to die, you can always replace it. And then this is your USB receiver. I'm going to go ahead and power this on real quick. And while this is powering on, if you look right here, there's a key that represents the left click of a mouse. And then there's one for the right click of a mouse. But you can use the touchpad as well for it. And a touchpad is enabled as soon as you turn it on. If you want to turn it off, you'll press the function and the alt key together. And then if you want to turn it back on, you will press the function key and the alt key again to turn it back on. But it is on by the default. All right, so if you wanted to do a left click here, you would just tap once. If you wanted to do a right click, you would just use two fingers to tap and that represents the right click. If you wanted to open up a file, you would just tap it twice. And then if you want to go through your screens, use two fingers to drag up or drag down and that will roll through your screens. For the time sake of the video, I don't want to bore you with every single detail of this mini keyboard and the manual will break it down and it's also pretty straightforward and what you could do on here. But what I do want to talk about is how you can change and alternate the colors of the backlit keys. Place it in the mode where you could adjust the backlit keys colors. You will press the function key and this light bulb key here. Okay. Then you will press the function key and you will press the RGB key. Then you can change the colors by touching the touchpad. Another way you can do it is after pressing the function key and the light bulb key, you can press the control key and the RGB key. Each time you press it, it will change it to a different color. And whatever color you leave it on will be the color of the backlit keys. Now, the last way you can do it is press the control key and the light bulb key, and then the colors would change automatically. Okay, actually I turned it off. So you press it again, and then the colors would change automatically as you will see here. So it kind of rolls through the next color, it fades in from one color to the next color. This would definitely come handy if you're in a situation where the room is dark and you have your keys where you can still type away and do your searches or whatever you want to do while it's dark. It's very handy. This is very light. It's easy for travel. Now, I definitely think that this little guy is worth it. I like the way the keys are spread out. You get good features. You can control the backlit colors. It's light, easy for travel. It's rechargeable and the battery can be replaced. So 
all of the features you get with this for that small price right now i think it's 17.99 on amazon and if you're interested in it i do have a link in the description please use that link as it does help me out but all in all i definitely think this is worth it it will save you a lot of headache you can use this for your gaming systems like the ps4 or xbox if someone is trolling you with some spam nonsense and you didn't want to use your microphone you can just pick this up fire right back at them and be good to go instead of using the controller to peck away at the keys and that's going to be it for this review of this cool mini keyboard i thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing also share it out and comment below until next time keep it mobile